Hi and welcome back to the Monkey Tree Woodwork. I'm Darren and this is the next phase in one of the videos that I've been showing with regards to the products that I've done but hadn't filmed making them. Um, most of you uh, are watching these because you know how to cut a piece of wood. It's just getting ideas um, on things to make. So if you remember in my last video it was a uh, piece of wall art with an outcut of a guitar um, and I used a piece of uh, or four pieces of paper, um, drew out a guitar, cut it out, and and then laid that over and penciled round it. Used my jigsaw to cut round it, and then I ended up with a leftover piece. So the piece um, I kept. I thought that I'd be able to use it for something else, and this is what I've done with it. Um, so the outline of the paper cut that out as I said with the uh, jigsaw and um, put it to one side for the time being to wonder you know to try and think about what I was going to do with it and this is what I've done so at the moment um, I'm not sure whether it'll go on the wall or just a freestanding piece um, at the moment it, uh, it's just standing um, in front of our fireplace but uh, maybe it'll go up on the wall at some point um, so on the back side of this, again, I've used LED lights, um, and these are just single white lights um, that will either flash or um, stay on. And staying on in the evening with those lit up behind um, gives it a real nice effect. The backboard is um, pallet wood, again, just sandwiched together no dowels, no biscuit joints uh, and then it's um, painted with a um, interior wood paint uh, which got from B&Q uh, and it's uh, a gun metal uh, colour to it it's got a gloss to it but before the paint dried I just ragged um, white uh, to get the excess off and hopefully then try and reveal some of the grain um, without it being too deep of uh, paint itself. The um, red, white and blue, uh, just sample pots, which um, again, from being q I think they're only like a pound or something, so um, a cheap way of uh, doing a small project without buying a large tin of paint. The LED lights have come from eBay again, for, I think just because of these, don't change colour they were only about three or four pounds so not a lot um, in expense the frame itself was probably about the only um, wood that I went out and purchased um, just so that I could give it uh, a decent um, or a decent finish to, to the piece not sure whether that will get painted um, but at the moment it's staying this pine it seems to work quite well. There's the back side of the um, pallet wood, so you can clearly see that that's, that's what it was. Um, nothing fancy. And joining um, the, the frame to the uh, pallet, I've used a nail gun. And glue just to make sure that it's secure and doesn't start warping and moving about. So, again, another simple build and using the leftovers from a previous project to create another project. So, again, just upcycling, recycling, whatever you want to call it. So, um, majority of it is pallet wood a little bit of pine just to finish it off and then the cheap bits of paint which you can pick up for a couple of quid so I hope you enjoyed the video nice short one but again just showing you um, what you can make without having to show you how to cut a piece of wood so I hope you enjoyed that um, please give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and um, tick the bell and you'll get notifications of another project that's coming up shortly.
So thanks for watching. Take care.